Hello everyone, I'm Suresh Dasgupta. I am the founder and CEO of Rax Labs. Rax is an online AI powered uh, literature analysis assistant for uh, research scholars, both in academia as well as research scientists in corporate. So today I'm going to talk uh, briefly a little bit about uh, one of the key and most exciting features of Rax called the related content. So this session is going to be all about what are all the different ways in which you can actually use related content. Literature and analysis as itself is a very it's mind-boggling and part of the reason why it's mind-boggling is because it demands a lot of uh, your memory retention and also it's time-consuming. And uh, certain things that makes it so are a uh, that uh, you always have to con compare and contrast uh, different various facts and arguments and figures that you're reading while you are doing literature survey. And widely you compare and contrast, you have to constantly identify all the research gap, which would be your research opportunities, and you have to do that very quickly. And as you figure them out, you have to come up with uh, your own key insights and inferences and conclusions and try to contribute through your own original ideas and approaches. Essentially what is happening is that you're constantly trying to connect your present moment with your past experience. And it's almost as if like you have this you know, you're like this guy who is reading something and who is getting this deja vu moment that, well, you know, you have read certain things which are very similar to what you're currently reading, but you are not able to remember exactly where did you read that. Or even if you are able to remember, but it's very difficult to pull that up and very quickly and trying to compare the right uh, sections together. You just type in raxa.io and sign up and then log in and start creating your projects. So I will specifically focus on one of my current ongoing projects that I'm working on, which is Research Paper Summarizer. I will walk into this uh, Research Paper Summarizer and here you see in the literature section, you have all I have all my papers that I'm currently reading or I've already read or all those papers which are in my to-do list. And I will pick up one of those papers which uh, I'm currently reading. This paper talks about identified discourse connectives in biomedical text. So as I'm reading this paper, what happens is that this, this particular second paragraph in the introduction section describes the particular way in which this, this particular problem has been uh, formulated. And what I can do is, uh, if I have to know what are all the other papers in my collection which relates to this particular section, I will simply select this particular section and click on this, the related content feature. And then what happens, Rax scans across my entire workspace, which includes not just the project, which is the research paper summarizer project, which is the current project, but it scans across all the other projects in my, in my workspace. And it pulls out all those papers uh, together with the specific sections which have very similar narrative argument to, uh, to this particular selected section of this paper. As you can see on your right, it pulled up paper that are related to this particular section. You know, it brings up this particular paper which comes from the same project and it talks about uh, this particular problem on discourse connectives. The formalization is quite different. You know, I can actually pin that and it gets pinned to this particular section. And similarly, this is another paper that is related to this particular section. Uh, again, a very different way of form formulating this particular problem coming from a very different project as you can see. And I can pin that and again, I go to a different uh, paper. It comes from a very different uh, project altogether. And I can pin that as well. So this is another one which is very related. So as you can see that I am able to pull up all those papers which have uh, 
very related description of this problem statement. And then interestingly what can happen is that uh, you know if I have to come back to the same paper and if I have to quickly figure out who are the all the other papers which were related to this particular section I can just click on this particular pin as you can see over here so uh, let's look into some other use cases uh, in a very similar fashion you might want to come up with different approach variations and you might want to figure out what are all the other papers which are related to a particular approach that has been proposed in, a, in, in the paper that you're reading so I would go to another paper as you can see we can uh, select a particular section of the paper so let's say this is one section that talks about the approach so again I can select this particular section and I can try to look up all those papers in my collection which are related to this particular section here you see that uh, one paper came out from a, a, a very different project uh, and this paper I read quite quite some time back that was in July 2015 2019 which was like al almost a year back you know interestingly this is one paper oh, that is very similar to this particular section and in that there's another paper that came up which is also related to this particular section and I can pin that too. So another specific use case would be to dig out all the other papers for which are related to specific facts and figures that has been uh, detailed out in a particular paper that I'm reading. As an example, so this is one particular data set and I might be interested in pulling up all the other papers that are related to the data set that also uses or describes this particular data set. So I got this one paper that actually uses this particular data set as you can see over here. I can pin it up. So these are the different ways in which I can actually bring together very quickly all the other papers that are related to a particular section. Um, you know it's perfectly okay even if I forget certain things and uh, Rax is going to help me uh, help me figure that out quickly. Sometimes uh, I, I, I forget uh, or rather I uh, I don't know there might be a lot of papers in my to-do list you know uh, which I might have kept for a future reading and some of them might be related to specific sections of the paper that I'm currently reading and it might be very useful for me to know what are those papers so that I can reprioritize uh, my to-do list so something that you know can be used for all these different purposes like I will show you one example how it pulls up papers which I have not yet read. Let's say this is one example, one particular specific section and if I just click on the section, it talks about a particular paper that I have not yet read. I can pin this paper so that I know that this is a paper that I really need to read or I can put a remark like to be read. So that's another interesting use case. One important thing that I really need to tell all of you is, uh, you know, related content is not really to explore new papers that are out there that you have not yet put in your collection. That's another feature called Select and Explore, which, which we have a different set, uh, a video session for, uh, about. So related content specifically deals with all the papers that are already there in your uh, collection. So to use related content uh, in the best possible way, you please put more of those papers which are all which you already have or all the other papers that you're currently reading. So as you enrich racks by putting, by storing all those papers, racks become smarter and uh, uh, the related content as a feature becomes smarter and can help you more in connecting your papers together within the right context. Let's make research a lot more fun. Thank you for watching the video.